Aloha, my name is Joseph Stepik, and I am the Director of Orchestral Activities here at the Hawaii Youth Symphony. I am delighted to share this video with you today, introducing members of the orchestra and some of the instruments that they play. While watching this video, you're going to get to learn a little bit about the instruments of the orchestra and hear the various sounds that they produce. The Hawaii Youth Symphony offers students programs from grades eight all the way through high school. We have classes for very beginning students, for intermediate players, and for the most advanced instrumental players. Here at the Hawaii Youth Symphony, we really endeavor to make music a right and not a privilege. And in that cause, we offer students financial support, which also includes help with instrumental needs and funding private lessons. You can learn more about our programs at the Hawaii Youth Symphony by visiting our website at highyouthsymphony.org. That's h-i-youthsymphony.org. We hope that you enjoy this video. Let's meet some of these students and their instruments. Hi, my name is Amanda Suha, and I play the bassoon in the Hawaii Youth Symphony's Concert Orchestra. I'm a 10th grade student at Hawaii Baptist Academy, and one thing I enjoy about playing HYS is that I get to meet different students from other schools who also play the bassoon. You're going to hear the concert orchestra perform a piece titled Genesis by Rosano Galante. As you listen to this piece, what kinds of emotions or pictures come to your mind? What kinds of words can you use to describe the piece? One of the cool things about music is that everyone experiences it differently. This piece is a dramatic work full of driving rhythms and soaring melodies. Take some time after the performance to talk about what you thought about the piece with a classmate. See if you thought the same things or different. After this, you'll be learning about the different instrument families and hearing the instruments individually so that you can better see what they look like and sound like by themselves. But before we do that, here is the Hawaii Youth Symphony Concert Orchestra performing Genesis under the direction of Miss Hannah Watanabe.
Hi, I'm Carter Nobuhara, a percussionist in HYS and student at Punahou School. Did you know that there are different families of instruments? We group instruments together based on how they produce sound. The first family we would like to introduce you to is the percussion family. The percussion family includes any instrument that makes a sound when it is hit, shaken, or scraped. There are lots of different percussion instruments, making it the largest instrument family. It would take a long time to hear all of them, so we are just going to listen to a few that you would normally hear in an orchestra. Let's listen and learn about the different percussion instruments. Hi everyone, my name is Brady Schultz. I'm a junior at Roseville High School, and today I'd like to show you various percussion instruments. I'd like to show you bass drum, snare drum, and suspended cymbal, starting first with the snare drum. The third thing about all these instruments really is just how well they can go together. In fact, you'd often see all these instruments in a drum set. heard was the 20th Century Fox intro. Um, you often hear it in the games of many movies. Next, I like to show the bass drum. Lastly, I can show you the suspended symbol. Today, I will show you the timpani. Um, my favorite thing about the timpani is just its range. You can play both very soft and also very loud. This is what the instrument sounds like. Hi, my name is Travis, and I would like to introduce you to the bells. My, my favorite thing about the bells is that it can play very high notes. This is what the bells sound like. That was Over the Rainbow. I would like to introduce you to the maracas, tambourine, and triangle. First off, this is what the triangle sounds like. That was from Brahms' Fourth Symphony. Now this is what the maracas sound like. That was Symphonia India. Lastly, this is what the tambourine sounds like. That was Carnival Overture. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Blake Hiranaka and I play the trumpet in HUIS. I'm a student from Kauai High School and the reason I enjoy playing the trumpet so much is that I love making that triumphant sound. Our next family of instruments is the brass family. This family is made up of instruments that are made of, well, brass. 
Brass players use their breath to reduce sound by buzzing their lips against the metal mouthpiece that connects to their instrument. You change the pitch on a brass instrument by using a combination of pressing different valves or extending the slide on the instrument and buzzing your lips harder or softer. The most common brass instruments that are found in an orchestra are the trumpet, French horn, trombone, and tuba. Let's listen to a demonstration of these instruments. Hi, my name is Juan, and today I'll be demonstrating the trumpet. One thing I like about the trumpet is that we often get to play solos and melodies, which are parts and songs that are usually recognized. Like other brass instruments, the trumpet uses a mouthpiece. To play the mouthpiece, us brass players buzz our lips. <coughs> On the instrument, it sounds something like this. Did you like that? That was a song, Merry Go Round of Life, from Howl's Moving Castle. Hope you enjoyed! Hi, my name is Justin, and I play the French horn. What I love about the horn is its rich tone and also its powerful sound. The French horn works by buzzing into a mouthpiece, which sounds like this. When we attach the mouthpiece to the horn, we can get sounds like this. I hope this video inspires you to pick up the French horn. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Anthony Tran and I play the trombone. The trombone is a brass instrument and makes a sound by buzzing, similar to the trumpet, tuba, and French horn. Uh... Unlike the other brass instruments, the trombone has a slide which allows it to do something called a glissando. Uh... Hello everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'll be presenting to you the tuba. The tuba is one of the biggest brass instruments. As you can see already, the tuba has four rotors. What I like about the tuba is it has a big sound and it can be heard all the time. One thing also with the tuba is the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece makes different no noises too, like this. Or like this. Put it on the instrument and it will amplify the sound. Here's what it sounds like. I hope you liked that. That was the Imperial March from John Williams. Thank you and stay safe. Hi, my name is Madeline Hodge and I play the violin in Hawaii Youth Symphony's Youth Symphony 2 and I'm a 12th grade student at Punahou School. Now that you've learned a little about the brass and percussion family, we are going to listen to Youth Symphony 2 perform a piece called La Forza del Vestino by Giuseppe Verdi. This piece begins with the brass playing in unison. As you listen and watch our performance, see if you can tell when the brass instruments are playing and identify them. There are not too many percussion instruments being used in this piece, but they are still very important to the overall performance and add a lot to the piece. Can you figure out which percussion instruments are being played, and can you remember their names? 
Let's listen to Youth Symphony 2 perform La Forza del Destino.
Hi, my name is Landin Nagisawa and I'm a student from Waikia High School on the Big Island. The instrument I play, the oboe, is one of the instruments in the woodwind family. All the instruments in this family used to be made of wood, but today these instruments are made of wood, metal, plastic, or a combination of all these materials. Sound is produced by blowing air through a mouthpiece and opening or closing the holes on the instrument to change the pitch. Some woodwind instruments like the clarinet, oboe, and bassoon use a reed which vibrates when you blow on it. The smaller the woodwind instrument, the higher the pitch tends to be. Now, let's hear what some of the instruments in the woodwind family sound like. Hi, my name is Irisim and I'll be introducing the flute to you. My favorite thing about the flute is that its tone is quite different from the other winds because it doesn't use a reed. Here's what the flute sounds like with just the head joint. Here's what the flute sounds like when you put it all together. from Encanto, we don't talk about Bruno. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Chelsea and today I'll be introducing to you the clarinet. Now the clarinet is a member of the woodwind family, meaning it is made of wood and we play using a reed which is attached to the mouthpiece. That on its own will sound something like this. One of my favorite things about this instrument is its versatility, meaning we can play a lot of different notes in a lot of different ways. The piece I'll be playing for you today is an excerpt from George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Kyle and this is the oboe. One of my favorite things about the oboe is this. This is a double reed and it can sound like this. And this is also one of the more difficult parts of the oboe because we have to make them. And unfortunately, we have to make, we have to be good at doing this and tooling this, but I like it. Here's what the instrument can sound like. Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'm going to introduce the bassoon to you. One thing I like about the bassoon is that it's a pretty versatile instrument as you can see people playing this in both band and orchestra. To produce sound on the instrument, you play through this thing called a reed. This is how it sounds like.
school student. I play the viola in the HYS. We're going to introduce our final instrument family to you. You have already heard the percussion, brass, and woodwind families. So we only have one family left, and that's the string family. In an orchestra, we have violins, violas, cellos, and basses that make up the string family. Just like the woodwinds, the smaller the instrument, the higher the pitch, and the bigger the instrument, the lower the pitch. The violin is the smallest instrument and therefore can produce the highest sounds. And the bass is the largest instrument in the string family and can make the lowest sounds. Sound is often made by pulling a bow across the strings or by plucking the strings, which makes the strings vibrate to create sound. String players use the Italian terms arco, which means to use the bow, and pizzicato, which means to plug the strings. To change the pitch, string players use their left hand to press down on the strings in different places on the fingerboard. One nice thing about string instruments is that they come in different sizes, so students can start playing them from a pretty young age. As you grow, you'll move up to a larger instrument until you reach the full size one. In the videos you see of the string instruments, most of the students are playing on full size instruments. Let's listen and learn about the various string family instruments. Hi, my name is Erica, and the instrument that I'll be introducing is the violin. I really love the violin because you can make many different types of sounds just from one instrument. The piece I'll be playing is the Hungarian Dance No. 5 by Brahms. Hello, my name is Trevor, and today I'll be introducing you all to the viola. The viola is a member of the string family of instruments and is usually played in two different ways. One of them is called pizzicato, where we use our fingers to pluck the strings. The other way is called arco, where we use our bow to create longer tones of sound. One thing I like about the viola is its dark and rich tone, which is used to create many beautiful melodies. Here is what the viola sounds like. That was an excerpt from Joe Hisaishi's Merry-Go-Round of Life. I hope you enjoyed listening and decide to pick this instrument up in the future. Thank you and bye! Hi, my name is Selena and I'm going to introduce the cello to you. My favorite thing about the cello is the wide range of notes it can produce. For example, it can play a low D and a high D. Here's what the cello sounds like. Disney's Aladdin. Thanks for listening. Hi guys, I'm Sam and I play the bass, the biggest string instrument of the four string instruments in an orchestra. And today I'm going to play for you to see what it sounds like.
I guess there's only one real way to find out. Till next time. Hi, my name is Keen Sagara, and I'm a violist in the Hawaii Youth Symphony and a student at Punahou School. Music has taught me how to be a better person through cooperation, resilience, and by constantly encouraging me to grow and try new things throughout my life. Now that you've learned about all the instruments of the orchestra, let's hear them all together. Youth Symphony 1 is going to perform Candied Overture by Leonard Bernstein. This is an exciting, energetic piece that also has really beautiful melodies. As you listen and watch the orchestra, see if you can tell which instrument has the melody and identify the different instruments. If you are interested in starting to learn an instrument, ask your parents, see what is available through your school or through private lessons, and look into the many programs we have here at the Hawaii Youth Symphony.
Well, as we say in the arts industry, that's a wrap. We hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about the orchestral instruments, and we hope to see you soon in some of our programs here at the Hawaii Youth Symphony. Don't forget, if you want to learn more about those programs, you can find more information at hiyouthsymphony.org. That's hiyouthsymphony.org. Mahalo and have a great day.